Alright guys, welcome right back to where we left off. And some Dark Siders too. We're currently uh, heading towards the cauldron. Uh, last episode we started the game, you know, got started just exploring really. Um, and right now I'm just uh, exploring around the map as we're kind of doing stuff. There is a chest in here. So we'll be Alright, let's get this uh, chest. Did I get any items out of it? We got... Oh, we got gauntlets. They do less damage, but they're fast as hell. How do I hit that? Oh, no. Okay, let's take a look at the map real quick for this area. So the cauldron's gonna be all the way down there. Okay. So yeah, let's just explore this to region go, that we're in. So make sure we don't miss anything important. It, wait, I just realized that, um... No, there's no, like, local map for this area or anything. Okay. <laughs> How do I get up there? Yeah, it's weird that there's no map for this area. Because it just it doesn't count as a local area, so that there's just no map for it. I don't see a way to do anything over there. I think those blue things are grapple points. Uh, I'm assuming we'll just eventually get a grapple. Is it worth coming in here right now, or does this take us to a new area? That takes us up into the Lost Temple. We don't need to go there yet. That most, that more than likely is a uh, mission area because it is named and stuff. So it's not really worth getting over there just yet. Look at the dead page. chest up there. I don't know how to get to it. Unless there's a different place to climb up on this side. If there's background noise, I don't know. I think my dogs are being hyper. And they're making a lot of noise. I'm dumb. I just saw the thing as we were walking over here, though. Oh, what? I think that is, that's like another grapple point. I don't think I can get up there at the moment. Seems to be like a grapple point or something.
Those do more damage, but there's critical hit chance and shit with this one. Um, is there's something on this way as well. Now let's head to where we gotta go for the main mission. Which is this direction. There's an invisible thing right there. Invisible enemy, but I can't, I don't seem to be doing anything to it. Oh, I'll just, I'll go back to using the hammer. The gauntlets are cool, but the scythes are so fast to where, like, you really don't need another fast weapon like that, you know? This is no place for a horse. Oh, I can't bring the horse over here. So this one you really... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> it's like super easy to jump to. It looked like it was like way too high, so I thought I wasn't going to be able to get to it. Why are there so many of you over here? There's something along this path? No? I don't know why there's so many of them on that side. There's a, just a lot of them in general over here though for some reason. I get up. Um, um, I do not see a way to get up that chest. Oh, yes I do. There we go. Um, looks like it's another four higher. Not bad. I don't see much out here. It's literally just like a lot of empty space. Which, to be fair, is what you can kind of come to expect from these games, just because they they weren't made as open world games, you know? They were linear, but at least the first one, you know, the first one was just a linear game.
So how far does that way go? That goes to a whole nother named location. So we are not going to go that way. It also said that there's a chest over here. Back this way. Hit the button. Another set of new scythes. See, so there's another one of those. I don't know what those are. Those blue crystals. There must be something for later. This is no place for a horse. We're almost to the cauldron. Has come to the realm. Not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. Your shaman has offered me a talisman if I bring her the materials. You'd be wise to accept then. Her craft is mighty powerful. Where do I find Stalker's bone? You'll find Stalker's prowling the cauldron. Should be simple work if your name is any indication. <laughs> Say, if you're headed in there, you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough for yourself. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there, with the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish? You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. You're different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. 
<laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad, but I prefer my own name, Carl. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Alright, so we'll, we'll look for his plate as well. Why we are in there. Um, yeah. Um, does, does Death get pistols? I think he does, right? I think they all have guns. I don't know if Fury does. Um, okay. So I'll be doing... Whoa. Okay, but that's collectibles. That I'm gonna do. That I'm not gonna do. And that I'm gonna do, but that I don't think I have to worry about. They're just in the cauldron, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then I just have to find his silver platter, which should be easy enough to actually get inside. The map should now change as well, yes. Because now we're in like a little area. I think that's the way out. I think it just doesn't. Work. Is he cold? Very cool. So yeah, while we're in here, we're gonna have to be looking out for a silver platter and such. Struck by a teleport slash, have a chance to set a blaze. Oh, that's sick. That can be upgraded? No. You can add a whole new thing to it. Um. Okay. Oh, sick. So I have two more levels until I can equip that other thing. Um, okay. Do I have to throw this at that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick though, I do just want to check. Um, I don't know what the stalkers are yet. I can't accept it. Oh. So now I'm tracking his quest. Oh, and it's literally just in here. It doesn't have a marker or anything. So I guess I just have to pay attention to shit. Okay. Let's go back to this one. Well, this doesn't have a marker either. Really? Did I fuck something up? I might have fucked something. Oh, no. 
regardless, I mean, I, I know what I need to do. that door. Um. Oh, okay. So, does it go around? I don't know. I think it goes around into that room. From right here. So now we have a full map to this dungeon. Oh, it's actually way smaller than I thought it would be. There's different levels? Yeah. There's only one level. Or two levels, I mean, so. It's still significantly smaller than I thought it was. Um. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll have to make sure to go through every room. Just to make sure that we get, uh everything we need to do the side stuff. So I believe this is the stalker right here.
not getting very many heals, which isn't that good. Let's use that, and then... Stalker's bow. Okay. So I'm assuming this just has a key or something. These ornate keys can be used to open locked doors within the current area. Press options to view the area map and look for nearby locked doors. Let's see. So this this little one here is locked like that, and that's it. <laughs> All the other ones are locked behind different reasons. <laughs> I mean that's fine, but it's just it's kinda just dumb. Das Okay, so we can. Cool. I, I I know where to go. I just wanted to see what it would do, because it popped up. This is cool. Not what I meant to do. Did not see that on the way. as that. See, this is just... The thing about this game that's, like, just so cool is it's literally Darksiders 1, but improved. Like, you know what I mean? The graphics are better. There's better gameplay. There's actual side quest. I mean, I think Darksiders 1 has side quests, technically, but they're not as good as the ones in this one. And this one has technically an open world, even though, yes, the open world in this game is not good. <laughs> it's, it's very barren. There's just, there's not a lot to do other than the few side quests you do get in the game. But it is, nonetheless, a, a good game. I just wanted to get that real quick. Now we can actually go get the chest. Confused with this was this whole area just optional? Cause we 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 got literally nothing that will actually help us open the other door. It's time you find something. Oh see, yeah, I would have literally left. I'm glad I used it right there. I was like, dude, I don't see anything that'll help us. Gotta pay attention to stuff like this. That that bird actually is super helpful, though. It really is. That's where we have to go. To the other side. That's sick. That volcano looks awesome. I got confused for a second. My brain stopped working. <gasps> Again, I see absolutely nothing that'll help us. It increases our strength, so I'm gonna take it. And... Uh, 
Oh, I see it. Okay, now we're on the other side of this door. Okay. Oh yeah, I I just remembered. Um No, that door's still just red. Interesting. This actually probably should have read that. Why didn't I read that? Uh, yeah, I definitely should have read that. I think I just. Pushing it forward and nothing has happened. Alright. And 
that key is used to only open this door. So see, I thought those keys were going to be able to open multiple doors. It just opens the door that's like in that segment. <laughs> like, it's not the whole place, it's just that one segment. I don't want to miss his silver thing, but I, I feel like it wouldn't be hidden super crazy, right? I don't think it would be super hidden. Let's push this. It's gonna do something. Okay, and that's how I will get to the other side. So there is a chest over there. It doesn't look like the explosive bombs are down there, though. So... Oh, I'm fuck. I'm stupid. It doesn't look like any of the bombs are down there, though, so... I'm assuming we're gonna have to find them from up top and throw them down or something. Not entirely sure. Yeah. Should be open now. Honestly, kind of just want to go open that chest real quick so I don't have to come back this way. So that's what I'm gonna do. God damn it. I just... Okay, there we go. Oh, fuck. I scared the shit out of me. Game boots. Are they better than my boots? No. Okay, now we can go up top and do what we're supposed to be doing. That's not what I was trying to do at all, <laughs> but okay, at least it worked out. It's not what I was trying to do at all. Okay. Sensitivity is like super high in the day, right? It's weird. Okay. So we 
got his platter, which is nice. I'm not gonna have to look around at all for it. I love that the side stuff in this game is side stuff you can do, like, while you're playing the main story. Like, it's completely optional, but if you want, you can look around for this item while you're playing the main story. You know? It's just super nice to be able to do side content and not have to go out of your way a shit ton to do it. I wish more games did that. But if you wanted to go out of your way, there's those kinds of quests, but if you didn't, there's there's quests that you don't have to go out of your way for at all. It's a legendary. You can use that at level five. Cool. Definitely gonna be trying that out. Oh, excuse me. About that. My sister is dumb and apparently didn't know that the zoo had flamingos. Um, even though they've had flamingos since like we were born. <laughs> so, I really don't know what's going on with her. Because <laughs> the zoo has always had flamingos and for some reason just now she's not out. Even though we've gone to see them at the zoo multiple times. I like going to the zoo, but it's like, I don't know, it's, it's fucked to have animals like that. I mean, to be fair, those animals would be dead as hell in the wild by now, but like, they're, they're animals, they, they, they're supposed to be in the wild. Like, how, how would we feel just being stuck in a zoo and people just staring at us all day? You know, that's, that's what the zoo is, <laughs> essentially, but... I still enjoy it. See, I, I get the purpose of zoos. It's the only way to see animals like that. Otherwise, you would just, you would literally never see animals like that ever. In your entire life, you would never see animals like that. Unless you went to the zoo. So I understand it. I just... I just, zoos are just weird. Because they are cool, and I do enjoy going to them. But... It's fucked when you think about it because those animals are just stuck there, you know? Oh, we're gonna walk.
twice. We did it. The cauldron complete. Let us head out of here. I mean, once we're level five, we're just gonna use those fists for a while. Probably. But it's all good. All right, so let's go talk to uh, what's his face. Yeah, he's still here. Let's talk to him. We we have his. Silver the mountain pattern. has a voice. How did you? No, no, doesn't matter. You have done what we, what I, failed to do. You must take the good news to Alia as soon as you can. I found that dish you wanted. You're a good man. Much more so than your name would imply. <laughs> I'm in your debt. What is Mordant Dew? Mordant Dew is the venom those stingers get you with if you let them too close. You'll find them in Drangefort. Walk softly, though. Those stings are nasty. Okay. So we got a little bit of XP, a decent amount of money from doing his quest. Um, we have to ha harvest some more to do. Um, we have to harvest some more to do for that other one. What she said was in the... Dreknum or something? The stingers are? Which means that... Oh, the drench fort over here to the left of Tristone, which I don't know how we would get there. I don't know how to go that way from Tristone. I think you'd have to take this whole path down. And I think it would eventually lead you to the drench fort. But that means that we're going to hold off on doing any more of that uh, side quest because it looks like we're just gonna probably end up going there for future story missions anyway. Um, yeah, I think I think this is where we're gonna end this episode though. Next episode, I'll uh, I'll walk there off camera and then we'll just start it right there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Darksiders 2. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace out, guys.